CHT, it's Friday. Today's Happy Clapper is sponsored by GH Coaches. Oh, we sponsor us. Good, huh? Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to CHT TV. My name is Shelley. We're on a bit late today, and that's because this little one decided to go to sleep on her dad, and he couldn't get round. But he's here now, and we would like to welcome Tom Banningsberg. Hi, Hi, Tom. Hi, How are you doing? You're right? Thank you. Yes. Good. And Good. This is little Megan. Yep. Hey, Megan. How are you? Say hello. Come on, say hello. <laughs> Come on, put some effort in. She's going to have her 10 minutes of fame <laughs> at an early age, look. Now, Tom, people are probably thinking, who is this very tall gentleman? Because you make me look very small. Um, but you are, <laughs> of course, of course. Um, you're the gentleman who, with your friend Ben LeBeau, hopefully, which hopefully will be confirmed soon, yep. beat the longest distance for a three-legged walk within 12 hours last Sunday yep. from the Pillars um, from the Plough and I field, just past the Pillars in Brighton, and back at 41 miles. miles. 66 kilometres. Wow. Yeah, it was a killer. But we're all right. Our legs are a little bit still aching, but I had a massage this morning, which was good, and uh, that's helped me out. And basically, the only problems I've still got are blisters on my feet and an aching ankle. So... And yeah, but you can show if I'm carrying this one around too much. <laughs> now tell everybody, why on earth would you want to do such a thing? Uh, well, it's mainly for the charity. I help out with Ifield Chestnut House, who are a local fundraising group who are based around the plough. Um, and we just thought, right, we've organised an event each year called the Pillars to Plough, which is a 20-mile walk from Brighton back to Crawley. And we wanted to try and get more people involved. Um, last year we had about 60 people and we raised about £5,000. This year we had 120 people enter it. And so far we've raised over 14 and a half grand. So it seems to have worked doing the, uh, the three-legged attempt alongside it. Obviously there were all other bits as well that we did to promote it this year. But we thought the Guinness World Record would get people... You know, it just make people aware of it, and it seems to have worked. So, and along with your help as well, obviously. Of course, of course. A little bit extreme, really, to get people involved, don't you? Think? Yeah, Forty-one well, miles yeah. of walking. Oh, there's no <laughs> doubt it's a ridiculous attempt. Yeah, but it seemed to capture people's imagination, and I think as well when people did the event and walked for, uh, twenty miles, such a river, yeah. and walked twenty miles back from the pillars to the plough, they realised quite how tough doing double yeah. that three-legged actually is. Yeah. So, well, CHD Hubby did the twenty miles, and yeah. He said, it's hard work, yep. it's hard work. Well, he came out training, he he came out training with us as he well, did. didn't he? He so, did, early yeah, on, yeah. he nearly killed him. <laughs> <laughs> He's still not walking straight. <laughs> <laughs> so, you actually raised your own specific money for Olive Tree, for the Olive Tree yep. which is a charity that looks after children with, specifically with cancer, is uh, that No, right? it's not just children, yeah. it's, it's everybody. Ad it's adults, adults but they well. do have a children's day as well. Um, yeah, the money that we've raised, which is so far is about three and a half thousand pounds, which people can still give to. Is that right, sir? Of course. Link, oh, yeah, of Which course. is www.justgiving.com forward slash three leg record. So that's still open at the moment. Um, yeah, we're at three and a half grand at the moment, and uh, that money is going to specifically start a move more, no, sorry, a move it scheme at mm -hmm. the, uh, the olive tree, which is going to encourage um, cancer patients who have got cancer at the moment, are having treatment or recovering from treatment. Um, to get into regular exercise because um, Macmillan have done some research recently which says that exercise, it used to be you don't do exercise when you're having treatment, but now they've completely switched that around and said that exercise, if it were a pill, it would be headline news. It's that effective for cancer recovery. So Excellent. so it's the start of treatment, uh, sorry, start a scheme at the Olive Tree, which will be doing things like dance classes and walking groups and things like that. So Excellent. for families as well. So, I mean, get yourself down the Olive Tree if you're in need of that sort of that sort of thing, and uh, Marilyn will be more than happy to help out with that. I She's think a wonderful woman, isn't yeah, she, Marilyn? Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. She came along on Sunday as well with her husband and obviously saw Tom and Ben over the line. They were absolutely chuffed. Now, please, if you do want to support them, still, you can still do it. It's an amazing charity. We would love to see them maybe raise at least five grand, Mark. So if you can help do that, the website or the link you need to go to is www justgiving.com forward slash three leg record. Three, the number, leg record. Go there. It's all good. Thank you. Right. Stay with us, Ben. We're going... Um, Tom, even. Ben? Tom? Yeah. Confused. The other half, They yeah. do actually look very similar, but they're not related. <laughs> How <laughs> weird is that? They do, yeah. yeah. I said to me, which one's Ben then? I said, I used to tour with the glasses. <laughs> <laughs> they're both the same way. Right, let's have a look at what's going on. Obviously, you've had the traditional market in High Street today. I hope you all enjoyed that. Um, where are we now? Let's have a little look. 
You've got DJ Rob and karaoke down at the Brewery Shade this evening. Charity night in aid of e Evelina Children's Hospital appeal. Sounds wonderful. And that's at the Wingspan tonight. Essence of Island mm, at the Wharf. Uh, Barmed hosts local band Run Young Lovers. Sounds good. Chinchilla Zilla, our little friends. Hello, Raymond. Uh, they're at the Swan tonight. Karaoke with Jason at Six Bells in Billingshurst. Uh, Jason Farley is our local famous karaoke expert, and he's going to be down the Six Bells in Billingshurst tonight. Hello, gorgeous. So if you're down, oh, I love cuddles. So if you're down that way, do go and say hello to Jason, local lad. Centenary Shield, England versus Scotland. Come on, England. <laughs> I didn't say that. Um, he's at, being shown at the Half Moon. A trapper performing at the Greyhound and Essential Fridays at the Jar Jar Bar. Sounds lots of fun. Do remember you've got the, got the traditional market in High Street tomorrow morning, Saturday. Um, you've also got Junior Football Academy, 18 months, 3 years at Chase Fitness. And the Flower Show is on at Tilgate Park. Gatwick Aviation have their open day as well. The Gatwick Aviation Museum have their open day tomorrow as well. So lots and lots and lots going on tomorrow. In actual fact, I would take a little look at our website, www.callyhappytimes.co.uk. Dot co, dot get there in the end, that's not two dot co's by the way, and go to At A Glance and have a little look at there, and of course we've got the Grand National tomorrow, got any tips, we're probably going to go for uh, Giles Cross. No, Shakalaka Boom Boom. Shakalaka Boom Boom, yeah, what a name. Nine, 900 to 1. What a name for us, <laughs> yeah, yeah. My, okay, on to the birthdays, and we have got Tom and little Megan who can help us with, what a privilege today. Yeah. Right, okay, let's have a little look. Um, Daria. <laughs> Good luck with that one. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try. Daria Gilskwanska. It's your birthday today. I do hope I said that right. But a very happy birthday to you, Daria. Say so happy birthday, Daria. Happy birthday, Daria. Can I do the next one? If you wish. Okay. Happy birthday to Sue Baxter. Happy. And now you can do the next one. Happy birthday, Sue. Um, Tinasha Lee Kigora. Happy birthday to you, Tinasha. Tanashi, maybe Tanashi. I think it's Tanashi. <laughs> and Claudine Hawes. Happy birthday, Claudine. Happy birthday. Uh, Deborah Perry, it's your birthday today as well. Very happy birthday to you, Deborah. Happy birthday, Deborah. <laughs> so that's a very big. He's new to this. Don't yeah. worry, he'll, he'll get used to it. It's all going to be good next time. Um, he's good anyway. A uh, very big CHT finger puppet birthday, and that's to Dar. Oh, and a Megan. Very happy yeah. birthday uh, to, from Megan and. Big Finger Puppet and Ben. <laughs> Tom. Ben. Tom. Uh, to Daria Sue. I'm going to get in with that one again. <laughs> Daria Sue, Tanashi. I think that's Tanashi. Uh, Claudine and Deborah. Very big happy birthday to you all. As you can see, it's all happy, bright, and bubbly, and always fun in the CHT headquarters here. And uh, we've gone a little bit out of sync. It does that. I don't know why it does that. It's all right. We're, we're doing that live. It's what it is. It's all live. It's all live. <laughs> we would like to thank Tom very much coming down. And of course, little Megan. Thank you, Megan. Yay. Thank you for coming to see us. So, yay. Yay. Come on, do something. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're totally out of sync now. So we're going to love and leave you. Thank you very much for watching CHTTV. My name is Shelley. This is Tom. This is Megan. And have a wonderful Friday. Till tomorrow, take care of yourself and others. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 <laughs>